Good morning. Oh, that's a bit close. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. I was going to say it is day such and such and I can't actually remember what day it is. I get very confused but it is still Vlogmas and it is 10 to 10. I was queuing to get into Brent Cross at 10 to 10 on a weekday which is absolutely ridiculous. People are getting really ahead of themselves on their Christmas shopping and I am not. Anyway, this is now the second day in a row that I am going to Brent Cross. I am going to meet a friend for breakfast and maybe start doing a little bit of my Christmas shopping. Then I really do have to do a lot of work at home and a lot of clearing out and sorting out. And I'm going to start sending out some of my Instagram advent calendar giveaways. So if you've entered check your Instagram because I will be announcing some of the winners today and putting your prizes in the post. What is it with my friends and me at the moment? We end up kind of having such intense conversations at the moment. I think people are coming to the year end and becoming very reflective. I know that I am. So yeah, the conversations are becoming super intense and super reflective and not really conducive to vlogging them. So yeah, I just had to show you what we ate and then that's all I could really do. And then I had to go and pick up my glasses. I had to go and get glasses. So I went to Boots. I go to the Boots Optician and I went and picked up some new glasses. Actually, I should have put them on now because you could have seen them. But anyway, I will put them on another time and you can see them. Oh, it's an Amazon delivery. Hold on. I don't know where he's going. And I'm definitely going to go to the gym. I feel like I need to get myself to the gym, so I'm going to go and do that. But before I do, I thought I would just quickly open up a couple of parcels because I haven't done that for a long time. And I've come to my son's room to do that because it's so gray and dull and dark outside that I really am not getting any light in my bedroom. So I come to my son's room and look who's waiting here. Hello, babe. <laughs> Do you have a nice sleep? He always just hangs out here in my son's room, literally waiting for him to come back from school. It's the cutest thing. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, and there's Hercules. Hi, cutie. How are you? How are you? How are you? And now we've got the two of them together. So, yeah, I thought I'd just open up a couple of packages. Very small ones, but let's have a look. We are joined by Hercules for the openings. I hope that's okay by you guys. This one I've actually just opened up, but I know what it is because I kind of know that the purple envelope will be a new Urban Decay, a new Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, which is great because I have run out of mine. I've been using one of the MAC paint pots, but I do like the Urban Decay one. So glad to get that back in my life. And this one actually is a limited edition and Urban Decay are working with Crisis and Crisis at Christmas and they're going to be helping women's only centres to provide like hot meals and a place to stay and advice on housing and all of that kind of stuff and 100% of the proceeds are going to go towards a charity so that's a really good thing to support so if you're in the market I guess for a new eyeshadow primer then definitely buy this one and you'll be helping as well and this other packet Sounds like there's glass in there. It could be nail varnish. So let's open this one up. Oh, I was right. SC. Oh, it's the new ballet slippers collection, I think. So these are the new Gel Couture Ballet Nudes collection. It's really nice to see. It's not just the conventional nudes, like say those three and that one, but they've also included a light gray and a light lilac because nude nowadays is all-encompassing really unless you're going really dark or really bright most things come under the umbrella of being nude and then there's three treatment products as well let's have a look at these so we've got oh hi Zeus <laughs> so this is new from Essie it's treat love and color and basically it's everything you need in one step and you don't even need a base coat and I think you don't even need a top coat either and you apply it to the bare nail so that you get all the goodness going directly into your nail so there's three Oh, focus. There's three colours, I think. This one is Shears to You. This one is Lavenderly. 
and this one is tinted love yeah tinted love really pretty i think i might try those i've just had my nails done with a very iconic nude color as well this one was bubble bath by opi and i had that done at the jane iredale shoot so if you haven't seen the vlog for that because i was model for a day which is really exciting and the campaign goes live early next year but anyway i digress i had a nude shade and i really like nude in the winter actually i know most people go for dark colors but i really like nude these however are launching in january i think it's 20th of january so not long to wait really pretty i love these kind of nudes because they i think they're just so flattering on the skin and i think that is gorgeous as well look at that beautiful oh and i love this one too I do like this this formula. The gel couture formula is lovely. It stays glossy for days. I love this. So that's a lot of newness from Essie. Thank you, Essie, for sending me these. And I will definitely be trying these out really soon. Take care. See you soon. Quick stop there, talking to a neighbour. Can you believe we live in the same road and we haven't seen each other for ages and ages and ages. I think the closer you live to somebody, the less you actually see them because you always think you're just gonna bump into them. You'll always be able to meet up with them and it doesn't happen. It's almost like the people that live abroad, you see more of because you know when they come to visit, you make that effort and you just, you're there for them the whole time that they're visiting. Anyway, I'm now rambling. The reason I got onto the camera was to say, I am now heading to the gym. It is probably the last thing that I want to do today. If I'm really honest, I actually just want to go to sleep. But it's probably the first thing that I should have done today. I should have gone to the gym today before I went to breakfast and I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make up for that now and I'm heading to the gym. I think I'm only, I'm looking at the time, I'm only going to fit in 45 minute workout. Actually no. <gasps> it's going to be less than 45 minutes by the time I get there. I've got 45 minutes from now to leaving the gym to go and do the school pickup. So I think I'll probably get in about a 35 minute workout. It's better than nothing. That's what I'm telling myself. It is better than nothing. And as I said to a friend today, you never regret a workout. You do regret not doing the workout. So you never regret a workout. And the one that I live by is that summer bodies are made in the winter. So if I don't do it now, I can't expect to suddenly have the summer body I want if I start working out in May or June next year. So yes, I'm heading to the gym. Even if it's a 35 minute workout, I'm going to do what I can. And then we're heading into the weekend. I'm so glad, although it's a busy weekend, and I'm really looking forward to the London Creator Day for YouTube tomorrow. But at least I don't have to travel up to Manchester like I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. I still have to put the video up for that actually. So maybe I will put that up sometime next week. See those curved treadmills? I think they're quite possibly the most evil machine in the gym. Seriously, killers. pit stop in my local Waitrose on the way back from school. Can you tell that it's a Friday night? Full of junk, this trolley, no goodness, all junk. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Well, I've come to the end of today and I managed to get quite a few bits done today. I was quite surprised. I thought that it would be, um, I don't know why I thought I just wouldn't be making the most of today and I actually have but I'm just about to set off and do the last few pickups it's pitch black outside I hate I hate it when it's like this anyway about to go and do my last few pickups for the day and then just chill out I've got a nice relaxed at home Friday night this week busy weekend coming up so I'm really pleased to have nothing on socially tonight so I think I'm going to end this vlog here today I think this is going to be a short one so I don't think I filmed that much today. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're enjoying my Vlogmas, my first attempt at Vlogmas ever. And I think I'm nearly a third of the way through. No, more, more than a third of the way through. So that's really good. Make sure if you're liking my videos that you give them a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. And before you go, hit that subscribe button for more videos from me. And I will see you guys soon in my next video, actually, tomorrow. Bye.